Teddy Duggan, the father of the nation, the man who helped to shape the destiny of many by teaching them that life is much more than the self. He taught us that life is about us stepping up to the task of working together to provide a better living and working conditions for our people. That life is about creating the conditions that allow all to benefit equitably from the available resources. Chedi Jagan was not born great. He achieved greatness. He was born in Port Morant, Burbies, an ordinary boy whose parents were sugar workers, who acquired his education and in the process of doing so, he found and gave us the people of Guyana, the People's Progressive Party, and particularly to our women, Comrade Janet Jagan and the Women's Progressive Organization. Reading the first chapters of his book, The Western Trial, he narrated tales of a country boy's childhood, which is not different from any boy of that time. And what was most captivating was his love story with Janet Jagan. It is said that Cherry Jagan became a better man, a better politician, a better leader, because Janet Jagan was in his life. For many Guyanese, Cherry Jagan is the father of this nation. His imprint is deeply engraved on Guyana's soil and will remain so for hundreds of years to come. Comrade Chetty, we want to say thank you for Janet Jagan. Thank you for the Women's Progressive Organization, the PYO and the People's Progressive Party. We want to say thank you for universal adult suffrage so that we can vote today and we as women can be voted for. We want to say thank you for the rights of women to work whether they are married with children or not. We want to thank you for the opportunity to become educated without having to change our religions. We want to thank you for leading the struggles for the restoration of democracy in 1992 after 28 years of dictatorship and starvation. We want to thank you for women's rights and the hope of being what or whom we want to be. Today, we pledge as flag bearers of the People's Progressive Party and the WPO as activists and cutters of the women's section of the PPP that we shall leave no stone unturned until democracy is restored to Guyana and authoritarian rule is ended. We will stop at nothing until sugar workers and their families are once again given the dignity of working and providing for their families. We will work alongside your vanguard party, the People's Progressive Party, to ensure that we will win the upcoming elections, return the PPP to office, and make Fair Finale our next president. Chari Jagan, your pledge at the graveside of Enmore Martyrs in 1948 will not go in vain. We will continue to fight for the poor people of this country. We will de defend our democratic gains and we will defend our constitution. Although Chari Jagan was hated by his opponents, he never faltered. Actually, he, grew strength, he drew strength from his comrades and supporters and even his haters. The plight of the working class motivated him, inspired him, and kept him going, even though there were some who thought he would never be able to get back into office. But with the people's support, free and fair elections and democracy was restored. I remember the tears, the dancing on the streets, the beaming faces. I remember him saying, elections are over, the time to rebuild Guyana. Comrades. On March 6, 1964, Kausilia, a woman who joined the strike at Lenore Estate, was smashed to death by British colonialism by a tractor. Her body was severed into two. In her death was courage for us to emulate and be inspired by. Jenny, Janet Jagan walked this land strong as a mountain like no other woman. Her strength, her faith, and her commitment to building Guyana for all to benefit will continue to inspire us. If we look a little closer in ourselves, a little of Kausilia and Janet Jagan lives in us. Every time we represent workers, every time we lend a hand to the down 
downtrodden. Every time we lift someone up who has fallen, Chetty Jagan comes alive. His life and work will continue to inspire women to work harder for women's equality, rights, and justice. For more than that, comrades, when democracy is at stake, when our constitution is violated, when our people are being discriminated, when our people, especially sugar workers, are thrown out of their jobs, when parents cannot feed their children and when parents have to choose whether to send their children to school or not, then the life and work of Chani Jagan must come alive and inspire us to work together to restore democracy to our dear land. This is the time. The call is loud for us all to hear. It is the time for us to come together and work to ensure that this vibrant young man, Muhammad Irfan Ali, who is our presidential candidate, be elected to office to continue the legacy started by Chetty Jagan, Janet Jagan, Bharat Jagdeo, and Donald Ramatar. With this dynamic young man, we are assured of a future where all people will live free and be, live harmoniously, where democracy will, be, will prevail and our constitution will be respected. My dear sisters in the WPO, I would like to encourage you to jump on the campaign train, to join our comrades in the PPP and the PYO, to defend democracy, and together, I assure you, we will win the next elections and we will continue to build our country. Long live the legacy and memory of Chetty Jagan, our beloved leader and founder of the PPP. May his life and work continue to be our living guide. I would like to wish every woman here and those at home a belated International Women's Day, which was celebrated on March 8th. Long live the PPP!